Many people enjoy eating fish, but only when it's fresh. In the cold sea, a fish is a healthy creature, but it may not stay that way for long. Out of the water, a fish dies. On his skin and in his intestines are thousands of organisms too small for the eye to see. They don't die. These are spoilage bacteria. They give off juices that destroy the flesh. When they're given the chance, they can increase their numbers enormously in a very short time. They are the enemy of everyone concerned with the production of fresh fish. If they are not stopped, the bacteria continue to attack until the fish is completely spoiled. The appearance of a spoiled fish can be disguised, but taste will tell. What happens to spoil the taste of fish? In the living fish, bacteria are kept under control. But when the fish dies, these bacteria are no longer held in check. They begin to spoil the fish. On the slime of the outer skin and in the guts, are many spoilage bacteria. The warmer it is, the more numerous they become. It takes only a few hours under a warm sun to cause noticeable deterioration. Guts especially are full of bacteria. When they're carelessly dropped over the fish, the number of bacteria greatly increases. Careless fish handling helps the spoilage bacteria. When the protective skin of the fish is broken, they can swarm into the flesh itself. Unwashed fish rapidly spread bacteria along the cutting line. As fillets are carelessly dragged over slimy cutting and skinning boards, the flesh becomes contaminated. Unless the bacteria are checked at every step, the battle for fresh fish will be lost. But the bacteria can be controlled with extra care and knowledge of how to beat them. Careful gutting removes every bit of the guts. Proper containers for guts and liver help keep fish free of contamination. Under a protective covering away from the sun's heat, spoilage bacteria increase less rapidly. 
The most important weapon in the fight is ice. Plenty of clean, finely divided ice, thoroughly and efficiently applied. Fish should be kept as close to the freezing point as possible. Low temperature retards fish spoilage because most bacteria can't thrive in the cold. Another effective weapon in the battle for fresh fish is water. Clean water. Almost all of the bacteria on the surface slime and in the gut cavity are readily removed by washing. The generous use of clean water effectively removes bacteria. Careful handling of washed fish on the cutting line is of utmost importance. Bacteria have less chance of spreading when fillets are cut on a clean, non-porous surface and are handled so that they don't come in contact with the boards. Careful skinning keeps fillets free of contamination. Rapid chilling is essential. With quick, careful handling, the battle to keep fish fresh is almost won. But from the time the fish is taken from the sea until it reaches the consumer, the battle against spoilage must be continued. Every link in the distribution chain is important. By taking care, each person handling fish can help preserve its quality and flavor. product is marketed, consumers will be encouraged to eat more fish, more often. <laughs>